Yes, I know I've been breaking my promise lately of never using this webcam again, but the videos that um, are done by the actual camera I've got take far too long to upload. They take ages, like really, really long, and um, forgive me. But I thought I'd um, make a video tonight titled Chat with PMDB. It was going to be a wrestle chat with PMDB, but I don't want to devote this video to wrestling WWE. Um, I just flicked on Sky Sports News just now and was reminded that uh, John Cena versus Roman Reigns takes place tonight at WWE No Mercy. Um, <sighs> love wrestling, always will. Probably, but WWE just kills my passion for the business sometimes, a lot of times actually, especially this year. I still keep like semi up to date with them, but in regards to watching their product week, in, week after week, no, nope, don't do that anymore. Uh, yeah, I've stopped recording a lot of shows, um, I will watch bits here and there at I hear that are good, like Kevin Owens headbutt and Vince McMahon. But um, ever since WrestleMania 33, when Roman Reigns went over the Undertaker, that was the beginning of the end of uh, WWE and I's relationship. Uh, my interest in WWE, whatever you want to call it, um, and I feel guilty when I do watch their product because I'm giving them uh, viewership viewership which they don't deserve and um, the way they've treated the fans um, well since John Cena became the face of the company really that's when it began but we brought up with John Cena um, well we John Cena 2.0 now um, the fans like myself just said shit I'm done I've had enough I can't do it anymore um, John Cena a very mediocre wrestler um, very mediocre uh, entertainer in general. I mean, he's better than Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns has no character. Uh, what is his character? I don't. I don't know. He just he's just there, is he? Uh, I think his best run was definitely with the Shield because the other uh, more talented wrestlers covered up his you know lack of talent. Uh, John Cena can do a promo and is good with TV interviews and things like that, but just because he can do a promo doesn't mean they're entertaining because they're, they're not very good. Um, and I did moan about their back and forth, um, that infamous now contract signing between the pair on Raw a couple of weeks ago and Bruce Blitz reviewed it, couldn't do a better job than him. Um, he nailed it as usual. And then I watched a video of Tyrone Magnus reacting to Bruce, Bruce Blitz reviewing the John Cena Roman Reigns contract signing. Um, the irony of was coming out of John Cena's mouth, you know how he's saying that the fans say he sucks, like to say Kurt Angle sucks, and you know that's just two different things, John. Just. Um, if I were to watch, I won't be watching, but if I were to watch, I'd probably enjoy the Braun Strowman Brock Lesnar match. I think they're going to have a great match. Um, I, I love Brock Lesnar, big fan. He's in my top 10 wrestlers list. Um, but not even him, not even the second coming of Steve Austin would get me to watch regular WWE product because overall it's just so fucking poor. And wrestle crap is facing wrestle crap tonight. John Cena versus Roman Reigns. I hope the fans shit on it. There are. I hope it's half empty arena, because you know I want a third wrestling boom period in my lifetime, not for it to just decline, decline, and decline. That's what's happening at the moment. And it'll be commentated by Michael Cole. He was the most robotic commentator of all time. Not his fault. Vince McMahon man's fault. 
You know, he's always shouting down what to say and stuff. And he's made Michael Cole so robotic. I think Michael Cole perhaps could be a pretty good announcer, but he, he's a yes man, isn't he? He does what Vince tells him to do. and He's making his own announce team so robotic. And, and the announce team of the past, like your Jesse the Body Ventura and Gorilla Monsoon, the late great Bobby the Brain Heenan and Gorilla Monsoon, uh, Jerry Lawler and Jim Ross. Those were great sets of teams um, over the years in uh, WWF, WWE. And the commentating used to be the be one of the best parts, sometimes the best part of the product. Now it's the worst, the absolute, it's the shits. <clears throat> like, <sighs> there's a lot of things that annoy me with the commentary, maybe like mentioning people that aren't in the match is one of my pet hates, like the over mention of Roman Reigns during other matches or John Cena. I remember last year at the Survivor Series, it was Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar and Michael Cole was going on about John Cena. And I'm like, no one gives a fuck about John Cena. Brock Lesnar and Goldberg are in the ring. Why mention John Cena? Why remind us that the rubbish we've had to put up with so long? And you know, John Cena and Roman Reigns are two failures, complete failures. And, you know, with them having to bring back The Undertaker after WrestleMania, after WrestleMania, having to bring Goldberg back and other part-time stars like bringing Austin and, and HBK to make an appearance and The Rock, and they still need him to come back. You know why they need all these old stars to come back? It's because John Cena has failed. Roman Reigns has failed. Um, when Austin and The Rock were on fire in the Attitude Era, they didn't need, didn't need Hulk Hogan there. When Hulkamania was running wild in the Golden Age, he didn't need Bruno San Martino there. <sighs> Hulk Hogan drew in the fans. Austin, Rock, drew in the fans. John Cena has drove a lot of the fans away. Roman Reigns, same, drove a lot of the fans away. Change needs to happen now, um, I feel. For... <sighs> and they're on TV so much these days, so many pay-per-views, and the product is absolutely terrible, and it's, it's, and it's on so much as well. It's like, it's, it's enough, too much. And this is really the times when there should be like a handful of pay-per-views, one weekly show, because the product at the moment just is not good enough for the way it's been, you know, broadcast so often and just everywhere. Um, so yeah, we rant about wrestling. God, eight minutes in already. But I'm not going to devote this whole video to wrestling. If I would talk about the upcoming Halloween film, which I am excited to see, I think it has the potential to be um, the best Halloween film since the original. And I was listening to a podcast yesterday, um, or a live stream rather, um, Drum Dums, <laughs> I think the YouTuber is on here, he just does some great videos on Halloween, very knowledgeable about Halloween. Um, I'll put a link to his channel in the description. You can actually see a couple of my comments in the live stream. I was talking about how I think four and the original are best and Donald Pleasance was the MVP of the franchise, especially at the start from uh, one to six. Um, got triggered a wee bit during the uh, another conversation about Loomis and two of the uh, people talking about him were um, saying by five and six they were getting fed up with the character and I started to get a bit triggered. And, Needed my safe space. <laughs> I was like, no, no, Donald Pleasance, Loomis, is the backbone of the Halloween franchise. He elevates the Halloween product for me. And the guy, the main guy that runs the channel, he's all for Loomis and 
thinks Donald Pleasance is great as him, like I do. Um, I will agree with what they said about how Loomis was portrayed in Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Yeah, that portrayal of Loomis was a fucking disgrace. And it's one of the reasons why I dislike Halloween 2 Rob Zombie's one a lot. Um, but a Donald Pleasant's Loomis character was fantastic in Halloween. Better than Jamie Lee Curtis. And I like Jamie Lee Curtis a lot too. Um, there's been some, you know, Daniel Harris was great in her roles in the Halloween films. Uh, I like sh the character of Sheriff Rackett in the earlier films. Um, and the main cop in 4 and 5. Um, his name escapes me. Doesn't matter. He was good as well. And Rachel in that film was great. Um, so yeah, I'm with Lee. I'm looking forward to uh, Halloween 2018. I think it's just going to be called Halloween. Which is, okay. Well, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll now have three Halloween films titled Halloween in the Halloween franchise. But it is what it is. I'm just glad there's going to be a, a film with the original Michael Myers. Jamie Lee Curtis is back, loved her work in the films, um, and it sounds like to me it's going to be a direct sequel to Halloween, uh, not acknowledging Halloween 2 from 81, um, which I think is the right thing to do, just um, because 2 has its problems, 2 is not a great film, um, it's an okay film, but it's uh, a fall from greatness. Is what Halloween 2 from 981 is. Um, and I think if they follow on just from the original Halloween and, and uh, tell a tale of what happened to Michael Myers when he disappeared and how Jamie Lee Curtis's character Laurie Strode is doing four years later and, and have the new cast in and um, I think it'll be very interesting like that rather than just a sequel to Halloween to and um, continuing the brother sister storyline and I think that would be a mistake and they're not doing that I believe um, so I'm happy with that I think it's very intriguing um, I do enjoy the Halloween franchise uh, the original you know it's like an experience isn't it um, two have mentioned not that great but it has its moments three it's, it's okay, I think it seems to be like a cult following it's got now, but I don't think it's, you know, if it wasn't, didn't have the title Halloween film, I don't think I would bother with it much, to be honest. Halloween 4, Return of Michael Myers, I have the soft spot for that. I like the opening, I like the atmosphere of that film. Uh, Donald Pleasant's fantastic, Daniel Harris was really good for such a young age at the time. Um, yeah, one of the best, well, the, in my opinion, the second best entry of the series. Halloween 5 is a step down from Halloween 4, but it has, still has its moments. Uh, Don Pleasant's fantastic, again. Curse of Michael Myers. I named it in the three Halloween films I hate the most in one of my videos from 2014. Perhaps that was too harsh, as it's not as bad as... Oh, it's certainly not as bad as Resurrection. Resurrection's a piece of shit. Uh, Rob Zombie's Halloween 2 is... I don't even know what that is, but it's not a good film. Uh, as for the others, H2O and Rob Zombie's Halloween. Um, I've got a soft spot for H2O as well. I enjoyed that film when I first watched it. I like, love Jamie Lee Curtis in the film. I think she does great. Um, it's one of the one of the good ones of the series for sure um rob zombies halloween was the first halloween i seen in cinema and i absolutely hated it but it's, some aspects of the film have i've, I've started to warm to and there's some good bits um, um but i think he completely missed the point of how michael myers works good he made him white trash and Michael turns into this evil character because of his upbringing. In the original film, he was just a random family and just so happened to have this evil child in their family. And that, to me, 
it's more frightening than than Rob Zombie's vision. But anyway, oh, it's 15 minutes now. That's a bit of a ramble. But I thought I, I fancied, you know, voicing my opinion on WWE today since it's no mercy and talk about my excitement for the upcoming Halloween. And perhaps more in depth next time I'll talk about the upcoming Terminator 6. Yes, we're getting a Terminator 6 film. I can't believe it either. Arnold Schwarzenegger will be in it. Love it, but I'm worried about his age. Um, Linda Hamilton will be in it. Terrific. Um, James Cameron is going to be a part of it. Producer. The Deadpool director. And they're ignoring Terminator Genesis. Which is good because it was a pile of trash. And yes... In my review of Terminator Genesis, when I first seen it, I was like, it's so bad, it's good. But, you know, after repeat watching it, no, it's just a really bad film. Um, Terminator Salvation, rubbish. Terminator 3 has its moments. The action's very good in that film. But the bread and butter of the Terminator franchise is the first two James Cameron directed films, Terminator and Terminator 2, Judgment Day 2, fan, well, Terminator 2. Fantastic film, one of my favourite films of all time. I'd say my top three favourite films in no particular order are Jaws, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, and Halloween from 1978. Um, but yeah, perhaps I'll talk about Terminator 6 more in the next video. Hope you enjoyed.